Let's say you have your full budget. Mm -hmm. What happens? Oh, I got the whole budget, huh? At one time, all in the hand? Oh. Mm -hmm. Somebody believes in it, maybe, who knows, maybe they... Well, it's then, 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 we, then we essentially start, high, we start the process. We're officially in pre-production. We lock down to whatever that date is that we were planning on, that we got them to do it in the first place off of a production date that we were, with some imaginary date that we put in the sky. Now that imaginary date's not imaginary. Yeah, especially if you've done some pre-work and you've had a conversation or maybe you've had actually gotten to Idris Elba somehow. Or... So now you've got Idris Elba interested in the project and now you actually have the money. So now it's like, okay, maybe it's a race to Idris Elba's schedule. When is he available? Or if Idris Elba becomes not available, who can we replace with that? Because it starts to be more than likely we hinged our package with a movie like this on who the star is going to be. So if we don't get necessarily the star, that might be another reason why we can't spend the money. Like they can put that as a, it has to be Idris Elba or a star that we agree to in the contract. We can easily say that. So that would give you that would give you a green light, but only a green light if you can get that person and you maybe only have a window of a certain amount of time and can you make it? You're already under the gun and you just got the money. Or maybe this hotel is going to be demolished that we're going to get to shoot in for really cheap because they're going to demolish it anyway. So we just rent it and we can still stay in it so we can save money on that. It was in the production plan. So if we don't make it to that, then now we're gonna have to pay for it someplace or build a set. Gonna blow your budget up again. That's why you always have a 10% contingency on $5 million. It's actually, so it'd be a five point, what? 5.5. You actually really have a, you present a $5.5 .5 million budget. You don't present a $5 million budget. 10% contingency on a budget that size. You should always have a 10 contingency on everything. But uh, a lot of us don't. Or the contingency goes away. <laughs> it's like, I'm going to make it. No contingency. The contingency becomes your wallet. Credit cards. Your, your credit family. cards. Your Probably family. <laughs> okay. Just don't do car loans. Oh. Don't, don't, don't do your, yeah, don't, go, don't, don't do that check advance or the car loan things. Don't do that. You got this full budget. It's five million mm -hmm. for the internal butler. Uh, how much toward pre-production? How much toward production, how much toward post, and then distribution? Well, let's say we've already got the script, and let's say I wrote the script. So screenwriter is getting a standard WGA, whatever that is for that, like a hundred and something thousand dollars. So that's already gone. Uh, so you own it outright. Um, so then you've got your copyright chain and your lawyer. You need <clears throat> you spend, you know, you, it, unless you have your lawyer as internally in your team. Uh, so then maybe you can get them to waive that for points. So maybe you've got a, you know, 10, it's generally $10,000 for that. If you're then any investor setting up investor paperwork, that could be another $10,000 too, by the way. Um, if you're doing all your paperwork appropriately and having lawyers do them. If you're getting packages and things and you make them then a member of your team, then you get all that stuff and you don't have to worry about any of it and you just give them points. Then you've got the... Uh, then the, so that's your pre-production money essentially. Um, you know, then you've got to get then you well, your pre-pre-production money. Now your actual pre-production money is your casting, right? Uh, securing your locations, um, having a so at that budget level, I'm going to bring in a production manager. Um, we will hire a DGA director or make me a DGA director because of that, which means you'll have a production management team which means you'll probably have to figure out what that schedule is to bring that out. <clears throat> Personally, I wouldn't want to shoot that size of a movie that let's say we're doing a six week shoot. Um, we want at least six months of prep. So I'd probably from that date of getting the money would probably be about eight months out before we shot the movie unless there was some reason that we had to because of Idris Elba. So then probably, like I said before, I'd say 2.5 is into in the actual physical production. Uh, and then uh, probably another, maybe we made a deal with Idris and we went with a smaller cast. So maybe we only now have to give 1.5 to casting and gave Idris some back end on the movie. And then we took, you know, and then maybe now we've got another, 
a hundred thousand dollars left towards you know final you know marketing prints bubble whatever's required to deliver the movie for a final end and market it yourself uh and then obviously if you're going to self-distribute then maybe you do a and should build in five ten grand for shooting you know doing a theatrical run on your own even if you don't get one Bring, bring your status up and give you a better deal on your thing or just do a festival run. So you got to enter Elbow, you're probably getting in some festivals. So you need some money for that. Five, ten thousand dollars at least. A um, hundred thousand is a dream. Uh, <laughs> if you have five, ten thousand dollars, you can do that. So that's, you know, eh, that's how I'd allocate it overall. And if you had to tighten the budget, mm -hmm. the production budget, w keeping in the main the main actor, how are you taking out ancillary characters or whittling down locations? It's whittling down locations, or maybe it's some special toys or binging bangs that I've got now because of the siege. Whether whether hunting them after them, maybe I wanted to do some kind of flying thing, and now I have to do something more simple. You know, maybe it's just a steady cam thing through the forest and not a, you know, a five drone interlocking steady cam, five steady cam locked off five camera. You know, now it's only, you know, you've got to do it with, you know, a drone and one camera. Okay. So you don't get that. Or, you know, you're not going to be able to, the character, like, you, you're still going to get the, 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 the love interest who needs to be another name. You know, in that whatever type of zone, because that way you can draw, because I think we can kind of slip this into the romantic comedy, romantic, romantic drama thing with that love story. So I think you can draw like a, a stronger female audience with that storyline. So you need to have a strong female actress in that to draw to signal that to them to want to come. So that would be where, so you got to have that one. But then, you know, maybe that's where you're not getting us. Maybe there's some new people in some of these other parts, which I think would be fine for that type of movie. Could you have a younger unknown? I, I mean, I hate to suggest that, but could you have a younger unknown actress or uh, actor? Could yeah, be act, well, yeah, I mean, I prefer, like, for the lead for that one part, it, it could turn out to be a younger, it, it, it could be the next Cindy Portier that we put in that part. What do we, you know, so yep. it could be that. Yes, absolutely. That would then, but then you, you you're, yes, you're lowering your budget and you're lowering your scope and you're lowering your chances to get now into festivals and you're marking, you know, some of those things that you're, you're hinging on selling, you're now taking away. Sure. And what if in the beginning Idris Elba is, you're only hearing the family's voices and you see his reaction. So you're, you're cut, you're just getting maybe voiceover from people mm -hmm. and trying to cut out some of them. So you can just really see that he is very internal. Maybe he doesn't even really see people that much because he's so in this world. I don't know. Just just ways to just yeah. take away some of the Yeah, I wouldn't I wouldn't necessarily be hard to say just us just sitting here in our in our kind of broad studio world that we've created. But yeah, I mean there's definitely like I'm saying, there's definitely ways to look at compromising cutting down scope. Um, maybe changing the, you know, maybe the, the how long you're shooting for, because I've already got it down in six weeks, you know, which so a month is shorter, but, you know, and it, but it can be, it's a little tight. It's more like a TV movie. Uh, you know, maybe, and maybe you get five weeks out of that. Maybe I just lose one, you know. Maybe I lose a little rehearsal. Maybe they, they get him to donate some rehearsal, make him a producer, he'll do whatever. Maybe he'll drop his fee. Yeah, you know, if he's producing, then he's more likely to drop his fee because he's getting a producing fee anyway. He can waive his fee, by the way, if he really believes in the movie. Uh, 